Good afternoon, fans, Privateer FX. <clears throat> Just back from uh, an epic morning uh, of skiing. Did the uh, sunrise climb this morning in the Jura. Um, then we skied uh, down to uh, one of the little villages called Miju. Uh, beautiful, beautiful morning beautiful snow um, great way to uh, start your day but here we are back checking in on the markets here just a couple of quick uh, heads up obviously euro sterling 8860 now is on the radar uh, this is a key level has been a key level since May 8860 this uh, coincides or dovetails with now 137 the figure in um, cable Double top there now. Um, traded up to 01 today, 02 uh, on the 4th of January. Let's keep an eye on um, those two levels. If they go, they will probably, the Euro Sterling will probably drive the cable. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. Big squeeze in, uh, in dollar longs yesterday. Euro up to 122.22 overnight which is kind of if you look at the four hour chart where where it should have stopped right if you recall 15 was kind of a bingo number last week um and so we stopped up here at 20 now we're back down at 76 dead smack in the middle um not really sure what to do with this the key levels as we talked about yesterday are still 121.30 um, not sure we're going to get down there today, but this is, there'll be some money to be made. Uh, if you want to be long, this is probably a good place to buy. Uh, if you think it's going to continue and break, this is probably your place to, uh, make a bet on that side of the equation. This is easily my favorite chart out here. Dollar Swiss, 89.20. Speaks for itself. This is going to be the right shoulder. This is the high five times on the dailies, um, as Blondie used to say, baby, you can ring my bell, ring it, ring it, fucking ring-a-ling it, I think I added the fucking there, uh, 89.20, keep an eye on that, uh, money to be made there, dollar czar, went down to 15, motherfucker. My God, I didn't get any cheap ones down there. Um, this was at the fucking dead balls close, um, New York close. No liquidity, um, terrible spreads. Just a, just a rip roaring squeeze for all of the comfy dollar longs out there. We got hurt in Aussie last night. We were short Aussie, um, but c'est la vie. Um, speaking of Aussie, not really much to do. 41 was the sort of pain point last night. If you look at this, we got short at 29. And this was the move as equities went down, 70 given. Um, Aussie got smashed, uh, but then Aussie punched back, smoked us all out like a Texas chop house, smoked meat. Up through 77.40, printed like, what the Christ are we doing up here, 77.80, now we're back at 46. 40 is probably a pivot, you know, on the sort of bull bear for the day. Um, I'm going to stay away from Aussie today, still a little bit jangled uh, from that bullshit last night. Gold, <clears throat> not really doing too much. Um... Tickled up there at 63, back down to 40, back down up to 63. Um, there's like a little pennant you could draw here if you were, if you were really into the short-term shit. And you get this horizontal up here. Um, I just have a feeling gold's going to head lower. I don't know why. Um, 
just screw some more people. The real <coughs> screw point is obviously uh, 1760. Let's go to ES. Fucking slut bagger. Um, I was really pretty sure as we chop as we chopped through 3776 that we were off to the races as were a lot of people I think uh, and then when everyone's so sure you get a bar like this we could name this we could name this bar a dive bar anyone who's been to Providence Rhode Island and had drinks at the Safari Lounge you know what I'm talking about this bar fucked us all um, all the way back up to 04 down to 86, now 92. I don't know what to do with this, you know. Through this dive bar, through the Safari Lounge bar, um, 3768, we could uh, get some more more downside. Who remembers that movie Bar Fly, Mickey Rourke? I think I tried to relive that movie in the 90s. Um, anyway, let's go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is bidding around, coining, it's bitcoining, 34.8, doesn't really know what to do, definitely doesn't look super bid, but no longer looks super offered, not really sure what bitcoin's going to do, and then finally let's look at our favorites here, ZB, got a little bit of a turn bar there, right, this is, that is like uh, end of trend kind of stuff, New high today, 168.27. Uh, we're going to fade this up here, 169, sort of 20, uh, up to 170. We still think this has legs, but looks like she wants to go sideways now before the next next move down. ZN, same chart. Um, you're of a, you know, your fade point in ZN is 137.07. Anyway, midday here. Didn't look like a whole heck of a lot happened uh, in Europe anyway. Um, we were on the slopes, obviously, so we haven't done anything. Got to take it easy when your routine and your timing have changed. So we're sort of in wait and watch mode. 89.20 is important. 137, the figure in cable. 88.60 in euro sterling. These are all very, very important technical levels. Um, we'll be keeping an eye on these bonds. See if we get paid on the fade. And voila, there you go. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Ciao.